Hi. Um, you know, you won't hear me talking about this topic very often, um, just because it's not who I am. Um, but last night I went to curriculum night with, at my kid's school and I went alone because I'm a new widow and that's just what you do. You go alone. So upon walking out of the school, um, I hear these people talking, you know, people are loud. I hear these people talking and one woman has her hands on her hips and says, I just don't get it. I just don't understand why people just won't give up their arm and get the shots. Like, is it really that difficult? And immediately I wanted to vomit for a lot of reasons. Um, but I'm here to tell you, I'm not anti-vax. I've, I've never been an anti-vax person. I do believe in freedom. I do believe in our body, our choice. And I don't know where that whole thing went. Like I thought for a long time it was my body, my choice, but I guess those things are gone. Um, I think science is cool. Do I trust everything and all scientists? Absolutely not. Um, my husband very much so believed in freedom so much that he went to work every day to support our freedoms and to fight for our freedoms. And you know what? He believed in, he trusted science. He went and got his shot. He did before he had to, before it was told that you have to go get this. He did. And he would giggle at me and tell me, Ona, you're being silly. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Millions of people are getting them and they're fine. It's, we're going to be okay. Okay. So he took his shot. He got it. His first one within a couple hours, he didn't feel well. Went to sleep that night with a really, really bad headache. Told me he was fine. It was just a headache. I rubbed his feet. I gave him a wet washcloth. Filled his water. You know, checked on him a couple times when I heard him wrestling, rustling around. He assured me he was fine. It was just a headache, a symptom of the shot or a side effect of the shot. Okay, about five hours later, after the last time I talked to him, I found him blue and dead in our bed with his arm hanging off the side of the bed. Okay. Medical examiner has ruled it to be a coincidence, purely a coincidence. Science, okay? I'm here to beg you, please, those that are fighting and speaking out against the mandates, please know that they are not doing it because they just don't want to give their arm for a shot. If we're told we have to do this, our freedoms are ripped from us. And you know what? Maybe some people who are leery of going and getting the shot, maybe it's because they know my husband. Maybe it's because they know one of the, I think it's what, 10,000 people right now that have died or been injured from the shots. Maybe it's because one of those people was somebody that they loved. Somebody that should not have been taken from our world so soon. So please have some compassion. And those that are making these mandates, I sure pray and hope that nobody that you love has been taken too soon or the health of them has been taken too soon from science, from a shot that was made so quickly and we're told just to trust. So please, before you stand there with your hand on your hip saying, I just don't understand why everybody just won't give their arm up for the shot. Think about the other people around you, please.